I can honestly tell you that the brand that we're going to be focusing in on today is extremely beloved. It's a beloved brand among so many specialty car retailers, especially those that offer premium sound system service upgrades to their customers. Of course, we're talking about Focal. And we've got Grant McFadder from Trends Electronics in the studio with us to break down all the latest offerings and technologies coming to you from Focal. This is CMA Networks brought to you by SiriusXM, Focal, and it starts now. What's going on, guys, and welcome to another CMA Network show brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu, and yes, I did say beloved because Focal is a brand that means so much to so many. Many of us strive to have that type of quality system in our own vehicles. Um, and when it comes to Focal, man, talk about a brand that has a complete offering when it comes to you know, good, better, best, and everything in between, and even ultimate, might I say, with that Utopia M-Line. Now, Grant, lots to cover today. Why don't you give us a quick overview of everything we're going to be discussing? Ben, obviously with Focal, we've got a large catalog of products, so we're going to cover off uh, most of them today, not all of them. We don't have uh, three hours just to do one show, uh, but we're going to top, uh, I can't do a, a full product presentation without showing off the flagship product, but we're going to touch on this. This is going to be focused on the audio files episode later on, but we're going to talk about a lot of our mainstream made in France products today. That's right, Grant. So many technologies and so many products to talk about. Before that, we're going to give our sponsor, SiriusXM, a quick message here to remind you dealers out there why you love it. And when we get back, we're going to go technology for technology, cone for cone with Focal. Hey, guys. Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling SiriusXM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love SiriusXM for commercial free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability, and its reliability. People love it. All right, we're back and we're going to get right into it now. Focal, as mentioned, many different tiers of product, which makes it really interesting. But I figured, Grant, we should start at the top with the Utopia M. Well, you can't talk about Focal and not talk about Utopia M. That's their Cadillac. That's their flagship product. So obviously, we've got a few of them here in front of us. We have the Beryllium Dome Tweeter at the bottom. We've got the three-inch Utopia M mid-range speaker, the six-and-a-half-inch mid-bass, and the eight-inch mid-bass driver in front of me. I didn't feel like getting into a workout today, so I left the 10-inch in the warehouse. But obviously, technology-wise, you've got the patented M-shaped profile cone. It gives you great off-axis response. It gives you lots of rigidity on the cone as well, so you get less cone distortion. Uh, tune mass damper. So the ridges on the outside of the surround here, that adds lots of weight so that at high excursions, this cone doesn't flex. You've got great, great response uh, having these tune, tune mass damper on here to keeping this cone in line. Uh, obviously, you've got the beautiful red neodymium magnets and all these speakers uh totally a flagship when somebody sees the back of that speaker they know it's utopia M. so we'll talk about this deep when we get in the audio file episode obviously but uh just you can't talk about focal and not talk about utopia M. oh my god grant that's such a tease here i thought we we're ready to take notes for the next half hour just about utopia M, but i get it we'll table that for our next conversation during audio files a little bit later on the season so the good news is what we're about to embark on is a relatively new product that was announced a little bit late last season when you, Focal came up with a brand new series called K2M. What can you tell us about this new K2M series? We've got a few of the K2Ms here in front of us, Ben. Uh, it was actually released um, at SEMA last year uh, as a pre-sneak. Some people took some pictures and released it online that weren't supposed to, but... Um, we got to see it at SEMA last year. I think the official release was not until uh, mid-November, but huge success out of the gate. Um, you know, taking a lot of the trickle-down technologies from the Utopia M with the, you know, the M-shaped uh, cone, the TMD, the tune mass damper, um, really, really dynamic speakers, tons and tons of mid-bass, which is what Focal is obviously famous for. 
Uh, one of the really cool pieces about this, though, is this guy here, the smallest one in the whole lineup. So this is called the Frack Tweeter. So this guy, obviously, it's an inverted M-shaped dome, aluminum magnesium cone on here. But what makes this unique is how low this tw this tweeter plays. This thing, pl the specs on this are 600 hertz to 32 kilohertz. So do we want you crossing this over at 600 hertz? No, that is, uh, it will play down to that. But in a car audio atmosphere, I wouldn't be crossing that over that low. Probably about 1.5, 1.6K would be ideal, which is still crazy low for any tweeter. But um, this guy here, if you need to, is a great replacement when you can't do a three-way setup. So a six, three tweet in the car, Maybe there's no room for a three-inch mid-range in there. This thing will play low enough that you don't have it'll it'll substitute for that three-inch mid-range speaker. So, killer, killer tweeters, lots and lots of output. Um, you don't need to give them a lot of power. They'll take anywhere from 25 watts uh, up to 150 watts. So they will take power, but you don't need a lot of power to make them sound great. The three-inch mid-range speaker. Uh, I'm going to give you a slide for that. Uh, so the three-inch speaker itself. Uh, obviously designed there for the mid-range application where you can fit a three-inch speaker in the dash or in the A-pillar of the vehicle. Um, four ohm impedance. It's got a one-and-a-half-inch voice call and a three-inch speaker. So, again, lots and lots of power handling. We're up to 600 watts, 60 watts RMS, not 600. 60 watts RMS, 150 watts peak. Killer, killer lightweight cone. Again, using that three-inch, so we're using that M-shaped cone technology on the mid-range speaker. You get great off-axis response. Great rigidity, so lots and lots of power handling, lots of mid-base, mid-range attack in that application. And then on the table, we have the six-inch mid-base drivers. So six-and-a-half-inch mid-base, obviously with that M-shape cone technology, it saves you a lot of depth. So you can get the speaker in a lot of applications where you can't get maybe the K2 power, which is significantly deeper, about an inch deeper than this, uh, into the car itself. So really, really good mid-base. You've got a two and a half inch voice coil on the back of that speaker. That's got a bigger voice coil than some brands subwoofers are. So we've got 150 watts RMS, 250 watts peak on the six and a half inch mid range speakers. Great mid bass attack. Awesome, awesome speaker for your front end. And then last but not least, uh, the next slide will be the sub 5KM. So that is a five inch subwoofer. Yeah, subwoofer and a five inch. Uh, they did that before years ago with the Utopia series, but uh, they brought it back. So really, really excited to see that. The enclosure-wise is tiny, so 0.2 cubic foot uh, sealed uh, or point ha or half a cubic foot ported for these uh, mid-base drivers. Sorry, subwoofers, not mid -base. I keep calling them mid-base drivers because they're so small. Uh, it's a beast, though. When you hear these things, multiples of two, some guys are doing four, some guys have, I've heard of doing eight. Uh, it's amazing how much bass you get out of a little five inch subwoofer. And that's key with the technology they're using with the large power handling, the M shaped cone, and tuning that speaker with the, uh, you know, the mass of the cone itself gets super, super low. So awesome set. This is our, you know, new, newest, one of our newest technologies that we have in the Kevlar line. Obviously, it's got the Kevlar look. So keeping with the family of that line of speakers as well. But if you want to step up from Kevlar, and but your you know utopia is maybe too rich for you. This is the perfect beast guy right in the middle. So technology of Utopia M, performance of Kevlar, and a blend of the two in between. It's a perfect mix. Those new K2M series drivers are certainly impressive. And literally, the way you've explained it absolutely seems like it's a hybrid between the highest end Utopia M and the next series that we're going to cover, which arguably is one of the most visually iconic series in car audio. Of course, we're talking about the iconic yellow Kevlar cones of K2 Power. Please, Grant, walk us through all the great features that K2 Power has to offer. For sure, the yellow cones really... First thing you see when you see yellow cones is, is that a full cal speaker. So obviously it's iconic. Um, <clears throat> it's been around for a long, long time. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. So, uh, you know, technology wise, uh, again, trickling down from Utopia M, we've still got the tune mass damper on the surrounds. So at high excursions, these things hold it together. There's no cone flexing on it. Um, especially on the mid base drivers, we have some radial cooling vents on the back of the mid base itself. Uh, obviously, you've got external cooling of the voice coil with the pole piece. We also give you radial cooling on the outside of the voice coil as well. So 
Power is not a speaker's friend. Sorry, heat is not a speaker's friend. So we want to dissipate as much heat off of the speaker as possible. So pull piece venting and radio voice coil venting, key on keeping this product cool because the guys that buy this product generally like to turn it up to 11 and a half. You know, they're not a volume nine guy. So um, several different series, uh, different products in the Kevlar line, which I'll share a slide with you later on for the whole line of it. It's it's pretty impressive when you look at it. There's a lot of SKUs. So uh, our flagship, obviously, is the KX2s. It also comes in a three-way, which is using the three-inch mid-range speaker. But this is our flagship. This is our go-to. This is our, hey, what do you recommend for X amount of dollars? And it's in the, the uh, K2 power family. This is what we go with. Uh, you've got the big aluminum dome face plug in the middle. So off axis response. Um, that is the one you want to go with down low in the door You're, if, where possible if you can get the uh, KX2s with the face plug on it. Uh, you get the larger uh, TKM tweeter with these. So again, that tweeter plays a lot lower than uh, your traditional uh, step down version that's available in it. But this thing, you want to cross this over about 2K. So two and a half, 2K is ideal for this tweeter. Works awesome. Super, super great. High frequency response on it and upper mid-range as well if you can't fit that three-way speaker in there. Uh, you do get the passive crossover in the box. A lot of, uh, I don't want to call them audio snobs, uh, shy away from this because of DSP. But these work great. Focal makes these for a reason. They put them in the box for a reason. This has got all the crossover points, everything you need dialed in from the guys that make it. So if you're not a big DSP wizard guy, Use the passive crossovers. You won't be able to. You won't go wrong with these. You've got up to six dB of attenuation on the tweeter. If it's too bright, you can turn it down. If it's not bright enough, you can turn it up. So that's our flagship is the KX2. Stepping down from that is the K2 speaker, where you lose the larger dome tweeter. So you step down to this guy here. Uh, you can identify it because it's got a black ring around the uh, tweeter itself instead of the nice polished uh, aluminum. So you step down in the size of a tweeter so it doesn't play quite as low. These ones you're going to cross over about 3,500, 3.5K. Uh, you also lose the face plug. So mid-base attack is still really great, but that upper mid-range, maybe you're going to be lacking a little bit. So that's why you'd want to bump up to the KX2s. Uh, there is a coax version of them as well. This is the EC165K. So a lot of these newer systems, uh, talking about DSP shortly, um, you'll see that there's an emphasis on higher end rear speakers in these new systems. So it's no longer what some guys call a communist plot, putting high end speakers in the back of your car. Uh, there is a reason to put really good speakers in the back now. So we complement that the front end with the coaxial version, or maybe you've got an older car, you don't have a spot for a tweeter. You still get that sonic signature of the Kevlar uh, K2 power speakers. Uh, we also make them a five and a quarter for those guys that can't fit in a six and a half and also in a four inch. So again, it's three different versions of the six and a half inch, a five and a quarter, a four inch, a six and a half inch coaxial. And I wouldn't be uh, talking about K2, sorry, Kevlar products if I didn't get my workout done today. <clears throat> so this is the 10 inch. I left the 12 inch in the warehouse because my arm won't handle it. So this is the E25KX 10 inch subwoofer, dual four ohm impedance, this guy likes lots of power. Give him, you know, 800, 950 watts, 1,000 watts or more, and you'll be stunned at how much performance this thing has. Uh, one of the really cool things about these subwoofers, even though they are a high-end woofer, is they don't take up a lot of depth. There are other woofers out there that are probably twice as deep as this uh, and in the same performance level as this, but obviously they can't fit in every single vehicle. So this still gives you application base where you can fit it in most cars. Tremendous, tremendous performance in it. If any of you have heard Nalika's Bronco at uh, Knowledge Fest or the Brian Schmidt Mobile Solutions show, uh, it is not lacking for any type of bass at all. It is stunning how much bass this gives you. So uh, a 10-inch version of this and a 12-inch version of it, and that rounds out the uh, K2 power section of the product. The next series we're going to cover, Grant, in my opinion, is probably one of the most popular ones. It's the one we keep seeing popping up in, in popular builds. And I believe it's a great compromise be between high-end full-cal um, proprietary technology and value. And, of course, we're talking about Flax Evo. So Flax Evo, obviously, still one of the made-in-France products. Uh, 
very, very cool what they do with the cone technologies in these. Depending on the size of the cone, whether it's a three inch mid range, a six and a half inch mid range or mid base driver, or a 10 inch subwoofer, uh, they can vary the thickness of the material itself. So this is still using the three layer technology with the flax on the top, flax on the back, and then the fiberglass layer in the middle. But they can vary the thickness on this depending on what they want to do to damp the cone. So obviously, a large subwoofer doesn't need as much damp, needs more damping than a little three inch mid range does. Uh, to get that upper mid-range frequency. So pretty cool what they can do with that flax technology uh, with this flax sandwich cone. Um, still on this series, we're still using the tune mass damper. Again, trickle down from the Utopia M all the way down to this series here. Uh, the tweeter itself is a 0.9 inch or 23 millimeter uh, aluminum magnesium tweeter. So really, really tiny. You can put that pretty much anywhere. It's not a big mounting depth uh, mounting uh, option for these. So A pillars, uh, and the flush mounting in the door uh, door skin itself. Very, very easy to mount these. Uh, you're still getting a cast aluminum basket all the way down from the Utopia series in these as well. And we also give you a couple of shallow options, both in a mid-base driver. So you've got an older Subaru, BMW, you've got a hot rod you're building kick panels with. You don't have the, the depth from a regular six and a half inch. So you've got about an inch depth difference between these two here. And we give you a shallow subwoofer option, both in an 8-inch and a 10-inch. So um, as far as the lineup goes, again, it's quite a big lineup of products, even though it's just in one the family called Flax. So we have a uh, flagship set, which is this uh, the 6.5-inch mid-base driver. doesn't have the face plug on it. It's got a traditional dust cap, 3-inch mid-range, the 1-inch, uh, so 23-millimeter tweeter, and a three-way passive, passive crossover set. From that one, you step down to the two-way set where you lose the three-inch, but you gain the phase plug. Again, for that off-axis response, the phase plug helps with that. So you've got the six-and-a-half-inch mid-base driver, the same tweeter, uh, the 12, up, up to 12 dB for active crossovers in the box. Uh, there's also a step-down version of this between these two where you lose the phase plug. You get more of the traditional dust cap. Same tweeter, same crossover setup, but you're losing uh, the phase plug. So a little bit less off-axis response but it gives you a better price point. And then again, for those shallow applications, we have the shallow six and a half inch mid-base driver, step down crossover with the same tweeter. Again, gives you super, super shallow mounting depth on these. Cast basket, no compromise in sound quality, but amazing, amazing response for those shallow applications. We also do them in a six and a half inch coaxial and a five and a quarter inch coaxial as well to round out the speaker lineup. And then subwoofers, we do an 8-inch, which I don't have on the table. These are both 10s. They do a 20 millimeter or 200 millimeter, sorry, 8-inch uh, mid-base sorry, subwoofer in a shallow and in a standard basket option. So 8s and 10s, the, the shallow mount version, great in small sealed enclosures, um, inside a wheel well, off to the quarter panel of a car, just in those or those truck boxes. You can't fit a regular depth woofer in it. Great, great performance on these. Um, awesome, awesome sounding drivers. And then you want some extra bump, go to the, the regular series, the, the regular depth version of the flax subwoofers. Awesome base, much thicker cone than you get the six inch, so you get much more damping on the subwoofer itself, but incredible base performance, both in an eight inch and a 10 inch offering. You know, the technology that Focal used to use um, materials from natural resources to uh, come up with the flax cone is definitely commendable and yet they still have found a way to be innovative and take innovation to that next level by sourcing recycled materials and then came up with a brand new cone material called slate fiber now I understand for, um grant that they have come up with some products introducing this new slate fiber cone material into some car audio product which they've already found great success in their home audio line the, the car audio offering is basically two SKUs. We have a six and a half inch component kit and a six and a half inch two way coaxial. Uh, you were talking about uh, the success they're having in the home audio market. Absolutely. Even in their pro studio products, the new slate fiber cone is doing wonders for the pro studio monitors and their uh, home audio tower speakers. So that technology was done in the house, uh, in the home application, uh, obviously reviewed by customers. They loved it. So they decided to bring it out. This is basically the new made in France entry level product from Focal. It's no, by no means entry level. This is a fantastic sounding set of speakers. But as our made in France product goes, this is our entry level. So, again, 
two, two options for you, a six and a half inch two-way component kit and a six and a half inch coaxial. I wanted to touch on a couple of the cool things that uh, might be overlooked when looking at this other than just the, you know, the, the cool uh, recycled carbon fiber technology they use on here with the mix of the poly. Uh, that's all great and, and, and dandy. It sounds, sounds amazing. They've done their job for sure. I think what they've done to some of the install things is, uh, to help out the installer is pretty cool. So in the box, you've got a two-way passive crossover in here. One is for the tweeter, one is for the mid-base driver. Uh, that's separated for a reason. So obviously, if you've got a six and a half inch in the door, that can go in the door with the mid-base driver. Your tweeter's up in the A-pillar. Now you don't have to find a way to mount this behemoth crossover in the door or in the kick panel. You can mount that tweeter crossover up in the A-pillar or up beside the dash speaker. Uh, if you do want to mount them together, you can just take the cover off, slides in together, clip it back on again, and now that can go back where your amp rack is, or if you want to put it in the kick panel, you can you can do some. I thought that was kind of cool how they separate the separate mid-range and tweeter crossover ports, portions of it. Uh, the other one is the tweeter. So still using the aluminum magnesium tweeter on here, but and some people say this, this is too big to fit in my stock tweeter location, my stock A-pillar. Uh, do you have another option? Well, when you just take the housing off, you've got another option. You can take all the extra bracketry, the ring, the grill, and that tiny little guy will now fit in most stock tweeter applications. So again, pretty cool the way they've done it to separate the passive crossover. You can take the tweeter apart so it'll fit in your stock location uh, or your OEM application for your, for your vehicle. Uh, but tremendous sounding product. You've got to hear it to believe it. In fact, if you don't control the demo, on your demo boards, as uh, some people will just choose this over Flax, which is obviously a higher end product. So it's knowing your, your your music material, what to listen for, what not to listen for. One of the things you lose on this over the previous version of the Flax is you lose the tune mass damper on here. You're still getting a, a cast basket woofer, but you lose that tune mass damper on here. And obviously you're not using any M-shaped technologies on there, but amazing sounding speakers. Uh, if you haven't heard them, Talk to one of our reps. We'll get a set to you as a demo program on it. They sound incredible. Uh, you're under 500 bucks retail for these, so they sound sound amazing. What a ride this has been, Grant, going through all the different levels of technology and offering from Focal, from Utopia all the way down. But I think we have to take some time to really showcase the fact that Focal, like you said, is a complete line and solution partner for stores because we have all the scenarios covered, especially when it comes to offering the very value-minded and feature-packed access line. Yeah, so Ben, the uh, access line is there for a number of reasons. Obviously, we wanna have a price point in Focal for everybody. So we have two steps below this, actually. We have Universal and we have Auditor. So we've got every price point you could possibly want uh, for almost every customer. But for me, this is kind of where I think that some of the, you, you know, your technology still is there with the dual fiberglass cone. Uh, you still get the really nice upward pass across over the tweet tight uh, aluminum magnesium tweeter on here. Uh, and it's also a, a large variety of products. I'll share a slide with you in a little bit to show you, but we have this in a six and a half inch three-way kit. Again, you've got the, the dust cap on here instead of the face plug on the mid base driver. We have a three-way kit in access. This is our flagship 165 AS component kit, which is a six and a half. We make it in a five and a quarter inch component kit for those older BMWs or cars that can't fit a six and a half inch. And then we have a full offering in the coaxials. We do a four inch, a five and a quarter inch, six and a half inch, uh, five by seven and a six by nine, all again with the dual fiberglass cone. Uh, it is a cast ABS basket instead of aluminum on here, but still, you know, branded Focal, it's not uh, off the shelf baskets and stick a, stick a logo on here and call it Focal. It's, it is made by them for them. Um, so again, a really, really good sounding product. Uh, tweeter uh, crossover point, you're up around 4K for these. So a little bit higher crossover point, not as much detail in the mid range. But again, uh, you know, you're going down in a, a significant price drop from flax or slate fiber. So again, just wanted to leave that as kind of my my level of entry level for Canadians, but we do have Auditor and, and Universal Oil as well. But this is one of our products. We still do lots and lots of volume in because it, it covers, you know, all your component speaker options and still gives you all your coaxial options as well. Well, Grant, I think we've taken the dealers tuning in on in a complete ride of every offering uh, from Focal when it comes to speakers. However, we have to take some time to showcase some of the other products, such as the amplifiers that Focal has come up with to match those speakers. 
Ben, so a couple of, uh, they have a couple of different series. This series that we have in front of me is actually not available outside of North America that I'm aware of. Uh, our friends at Orca bring this series in called FDP. So they have uh, five different amplifiers in the lineup. They have uh, one dedicated for Harley Davidson called the FDP Sport. Uh, and then this is our two most popular in the in two more popular amplifiers in the entire lineup. In front of me, in the, in the bottom here, is the FTP 6900. This is a six-channel amplifier, 150 watts RMS by six, or really big power at 400, 400 watts by two and 500 watts by one if you want to bridge it into a three-channel amplifier. So you want a massive front end sounds from massive power to your front stage with 400 watts by two, and then a 500 watt subwoofer amplifier. You can bridge this guy. This is the second most popular is the 900 watt monoblock, uh, 900 watts RMS. They do make a big brother to this, uh, a 2000 watt version of it. And they make a matching four channel amplifier four by 150 as well. Uh, I wanted to touch on one of the cool uh, mounting um, aspects of this amplifier. So one thing I like about it, installers like about it is all the connections are all on one side. So you don't have, RCA is on one side, speaker terminals on the other side, it's all on one side, so it makes all your wiring nice and neat. But if you flip it over and check out the back, there's these slots and holes in the back, and that's where this uh, cool bracket comes in place. So uh, if you don't want to have any screws shown in your car, you can take this mounting plate, mount that onto your amp rack, and then mount the amplifier on top, and then you secure it on the side with two screws, and you have a invisible mounting system basically an amplifier can be floating if you like uh but that's a really cool way i thought was was pretty unique about mounting the amplifier on it so uh the monoblocks and the six channel uh, all come with the super small base knob in the box as well so you don't have to buy an extra option it's included in the box if you want to take it apart and flush mount the, the base knob in there you certainly can but it comes in the enclosure something that comes in the box for the monoblock amplifiers and the six channel as well so FTP, six channel amp, four channel amp, two mono blocks, and then the dedicated Harley Davidson FTP sport amplifier. Really, really nice amplifiers. If you want to step up a bit in power, then FTP is the one to go with. Ben, uh, step down from the FTP amplifiers. We have the Focal FPX series amplifiers. Uh, they have four different models in this. They have uh, two four channel amplifiers, they have a mono block amplifier, and they have my favorite, which we'll get to in a second, is the five channel all in one amplifier solution so in the four channels we have uh, two different options for you there's a four four point eight hundred so that is a four by 120 watts class d amplifier super super small there's my hand again again we've talked about this before i don't have big hands so very small compact and pr pretty much fit anywhere you need to put it in a quarter panel wherever uh, and there's a 4400 sq version of it so same chassis size but we step down in power to 70 watts by four instead of 120 watts by four, but it's a class AB design on it. So those customers that want more of a SQ focused amplifier option, same price, you're not losing anything as far as price wise goes, you are gaining a little bit better in sound quality. So we step back a little bit in power. Uh, the monoblock option to go with both the four channels is a thousand watts RMS at one ohm, killer, killer amounts of power. Again, don't let the size on these amplifiers fool you. They are tremendously powerful. They sound great. Uh, monoblock comes with the base knob. Again, very compact. You can take it apart. Uh, but my favorite out of them all is the five channel. The FPX 51.200. So this is a five channel amplifier, 75 watts by four. And then what some amplifiers do on the fifth channel is give you 480 watts, 500. Uh, this is 720 watts RMS at two ohms on the subwoofer channel. So it gives you some serious power on your subwoofer out of a one channel amplifier uh, application. So my favorite out of the four different amplifiers they have, uh, it is a little bit bigger in chassis size, but you're getting it, you're getting it all in one footprint. So uh, FPX also comes with the base knob included in the box. But again, this is my favorite out of them all. And that was Grant McFadder from Trends Electronics on behalf of Focal, giving us the full line breakdown on all the different speaker series and ending off with the amplifier options as well. If you want more information on all products that Focal have to offer, I recommend you check out their website at focal.com. And if you happen to be a Canadian dealer, then you need to get a hold of the team at Trends Electronics, for they are the Canadian distribution for Focal.
Now, my closing thoughts on Full Cal is pretty darn simple. As I started with this show, Full Cal is just one of those brands that people want. It's been around. You know they're iconic. The innovation is there. They provide all different levels of price points and technologies for every single customer that is coming to your store. In fact, one may argue that this is probably one of the most recognized and asked for brands from car audio consumers when they do visit stores. Having said that, I think that with the latest introduction of the K2M Power certainly provides a very top tier high level offering by merging the very high end Utopia M technology with that iconic look of the K Power. And there you go, K2M. I think that's going to be a winner for sure. On that note, thanks for tuning in to another CMA Networks presentation brought to you by Sirius XM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.